In this video, we are going to talk about eosin methylene blue auger. This is an auger that is both selective and differential. It's selective for gram-negative bacteria, and it's differential based on the rate of lactose fermentation. So here you can see an uninoculated EMB. These are very dark purple plates. They're easily distinguishable from all the other plates that we work with because they are by far the most dark plates that we work with, and they're really dark purple. EMB is selective by containing two different dyes, eosin Y and methylene blue. These dyes are inhibitory to gram-positive organisms, but do not negatively affect gram-negative organisms. So our gram-negatives are able to grow on this plate. EMB is differential based on the rate of lactose fermentation. So in these plates, we have lactose, and then the presence of those dyes can also tell us how quickly and how vigorously the organisms are able to ferment that lactose. Organisms that are able to ferment lactose, but at a normal or a slow rate, they grow pink on this auger. You can see that distinctive pink color. So this organism does ferment lactose, but it does not do so very quickly. Organisms that are able to ferment lactose very quickly on an EMB grow much darker. They don't have that same pink. They grow dark purple, almost black, and they often have a metallic green sheen to them. It's really hard to see this green on camera and in pictures, but it's very easy to see it in person. Organisms that are gram negative and can grow on EMB but do not ferment lactose grow clear on this auger. But it's not uncommon for them to still look just a little bit pink because they're growing on a pink auger. You're able to see through them and therefore they look a little bit pink. But the pink that you see for a fermenter is very different and very distinctive than the little bit of pink that you pick up just from the auger for those that are not fermenting lactose at all.